वेलकम टू माय ट्यूटोरियल पर आपके पास हाय गाइस वेलकम टू माय ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एनालिसिस 1 टुडे वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट द टोटल डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर एनालिसिस एंड वेरियस वेरियस बीम्स एंड वेरियस देयर यूजेस ओके now today we are discuss about the total and detailed detailed uh, information about structural analysis what is the use of structural analysis basic what is the basic of the structural analysis that's why here is the beam okay the structural analysis first up, first type is claproron's three moment theorem okay the claproron's three moment theorem is deal with the beam which having a two span and three supports like that this is a one support this is second support and this is a third support that means it is a continuous beam okay the structural analysis chart claproron's theorem that means three moment theorem is deal with the continuous beam which having a this middle point you get that my point there is a two span this is a first span and in this second span okay now i give a name here a b and c the claproron three moment theorem is deal with the for finding out the moment at the this point not this point whenever taking the moment at a and c it getting a zero but this point moment is found by the claproron three moment theorem okay there are number of bending moments bending a uh, bending beams they are present such as here a beam okay this beam consists of a uh, first support second support and third support but in but there is some udl is present okay and at that udl here some point load are present okay this is very hard problems so how to solve this beam and how to determine the value of this uh, point by the moment is very very important also similarly here also a beam but it is a fixed beam okay now i wanted to know the detail i wanted to know the moment at this point and this point suppose there is a there is a support and another invention in that beam fixed beam is that suppose it is overhead now such a type of bending moment is formed here when the support of the load or udl is present at that point okay so such a form is such a experiment of the beam the finding out the all supported reaction at this point and this point is can be calculated with the help of the three moment theorem wherever the fixed beam is present there is a, some imagination is has been done because we know that the three moment theorem is only used only applicable in only two span and three supports so here we are consider a imaginary supports an imaginary length similarly imaginary support Yeah, sorry, real support and real length. So this is a three moment theorem exp explanation. Now the total basic of about the beams. What are how the beam and what are their formula? Okay, suppose here a beam, a uh, three supports there, and uh, suppose here a load is present. Okay, at at this at this span a load of hundred kilo newton is here. and this is a uh, 4 and this is 3 okay so what is the exactly the simple bending moment diagram of this span this this span simple bending moment diagram calculate by this formula w that mean 100 kN multiply by 4 multiply by 3 divided by 4 plus 3 what is 7 so this is the formula for the calculating the total value of this simple bending moment diagram so diagram of this simple bending moment diagram is like that okay at that value it given which calculated by this formula okay now
बी मूमेंट थेरम थ्री दिस वर्ड इज ऑलरेडी टेल यू दैट दैट देर इज अ थ्री सपोर्ट ओके एंड टेकिंग अ मूवमेंट एट दिस पॉइंट इट इज अ इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑफ दिस थेरम नाउ वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू मूवमेंट हाउ टू ट्री मूवमेंट थेरम इज अप्लाई इन बीम ओके कंसिडर हियर ए बीम दिस बीम हैविंग दिस सपोर्ट दिस सपोर्ट एंड दिस सपोर्ट ओके वी आर गिविंग अ नेम ए बी सी here a length l1 and this is a point load here and here a udl okay suppose consider here okay so here a load w1 here load w2 now uh, this uh, the bending moment diagram I, at first i tell you that here a bending moment diagram of this p is calculated by like that okay so it having a area a1 and it having area a2 the moment of inertia about a b span is i and here is 2i okay now friends we are applying the three moment theorem in this topic in this beam okay here here a beam okay at the a point the moment taking place that means m a and in bracket length l1 divided by area area of this l1 span okay bracket completed now plus twice of mb okay twice of this mb in bracket this total calculation l1 upon a1 plus the calculation of another bracket that l2 upon a2 plus mc that means moment about this point and calculation of this second diagram single l2 upon a2 is equals to minus 6 it is a common okay minus 6 into a1 into x1 divided by l1 into i1 where a1 is a area of this particular bending moment diagram x is a distance from this point to middle of this point okay x1 and x2 is a this point to this point x2 okay L1 is the distance of this plane and I1 is the moment of inertia of this plane. Okay, minus six A2 into X2 upon L2 into I2. Why I am taking the two these particles to these stages? Because here are two span present, so I am taking two. And in fact, there is a always two span is comes whenever the sink diagram is sink means what? Sink means suppose there is a beam. okay and the bending moment diagram is come across like that okay so sink means the beam is getting some downward direction this portion that means the delta changing changing that that change is called as a sink during the sinks there is a plus 6 a1 delta ei is getting added so it is the next part which which never started uh, start right like okay so it is a three moment theorem applying for any bending moment diagram okay now we are proceed for a one numerical which is based on the three moment theorem so problem number 1 i am giving a big bear a beam okay this is beam having a hinge here okay so the solution of this bending moment diagram it like that first of all step number 1 step number 1 calculate the simple bending moment diagram calculation of simple bending diagram okay this time
step one calculation of simple moment bending moment diagram it can be calculated by draw a straight line okay and uh, make this point as a b and c the calculation of this that means that means 100 so 100 multiplied by 1 into 3 divided by 4 100 this is formula w a b by l so it is as 75 and another is to be 80 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 divided by 5 it is at 96 ok so these are the kilo newton kilo newton this with the, with the help of this formula we are calculating the simple bending moment diagram so drawing of this simple bending moment diagram is like that ok 75 and this like 96 ok 75 and 96 this uh, length is 4 meter and this is 5 meter A1 and A2 this is X1 and this is X2 ok so now we are calculating the area A1 and A2 for the simple bending moment diagram so A1 is calculated we know that the basic formula of area of triangle half into base into height so we are taking half base as to be 4 and height is to be 75 that we just calculated ok so answer is to be getting that what is the answer guessing someone guessing we are calculating the answer with the help of the total uh, determination ok so answer is getting 150 ok a1 is to be 150 and a2 is getting what 240 ok so we are getting the all area we are written at one side that is a1 equals to 150 and a2 equals to 240 ok so this is area is can be calculated now here we have to calculate the x and x1 now it is a very important thing how to calculate the x1 x1 sometimes the student we are getting the furthest from us that sometimes taking that x1 as another different character and x1 different character Sometimes what happen? X1 is taking from this side and another X, X2 taking from this side. It is wrong procedure. The only the X is half of the length. Suppose here a length A. So X for this only UDL is A by 2. Suppose it is 4. So X is taken as 2 for the only UDL. This is only applicable, applicable for only UDL. But now here a triangle. Here a beam is starting. So, this beam is starting from this side, from this side taking a x1, ok. It is starting from this side, so taking x1 at this time, that means from left hand side to right hand side, taking x1. And this is the end portion, so taking the left hand, right hand side to left hand side, x2. So, x1 is calculated by L plus A divided by 3, it is a basic formula, ok. That means A is a 4, A is a this distance, A, 1. And 3 is the common ratio. That means the total ratio is that means the total length is 4. 4 plus 1 divided by 3 and x2 is calculated by L plus here, here some. L plus D distance, not A distance, it is B distance because it is in part. So calculation from right to left. So L plus B by 3. So that means L, that means what? 5 plus B is 2 divided by 3. So answer of both the character is 1.66 and 2.33 ok so we are getting the value of x1 and x2 x1 is 1.66 and x2 is 2.33 now according to 3 moment theorem the variation the amount of the calculation we require that means area x1, x2, a1, a2, l1, l2, i1, i2, we are getting everything, only the requirement to solve, to solve the factor of mb, ok, we, what we want, what is the main motto of the solving, solve this b, we want to help of this b, the movement of that point, ok, so it is our motto for the solving the 3 moment theorem diagram, ok, now we are applying the 3 moment theorem, so it is our step number 1, what we are doing in step number 1, we are calculating a simple bending moment diagram and with the help of simple bending moment diagram, we are find out the area of the both the A1 and A2 that is 150 and 240 and X1 
1.6 and 2.33. Now, our step number 2, it is a one portion. Okay. Now, step number 2. What is our step number 2? We are applying, apply TMT, it is short form, C movement theorem. TMT in beam, which beam? A, B, C. A, B, C. We get, what we get? Okay, apply the three movement theorem. As I know, I told you. M A upon L1 upon I1 plus twice M B. L1 upon I1 plus L2 upon I2 plus M C equals to M C L2 upon I2 equals to we are calculating writing here minus 6 A1 X1 upon L1 I1 minus 6 A2 X2 upon L2 I2 ok now put the all this value what we have see here what is the moment at this A point here something moment at this point no so it is cancel because moment at this point is zero nothing to solve this problem <coughs> and moment at this point is also zero so nobody to solve this problem or only solve the fact for mb because the moment at a and b at the a these are the end points so the moment at this point are always zero now the exact three moment theorem diagram for us is moment theorem is twice mb what is the value of l1 4 what is the i? i means the coefficient of i is only 1. So right here 1 plus l2 means 5. What is the coefficient of i is 2 for second span? Plus, sorry, not plus, is equals to minus 6. a1 is 150 multiplied by 150 multiplied by x1 is 1.66 divided by 4 multiplied by 1. Another minus 6 into or 240 multiplied by 2.33 divided by 5 into 2. Okay, now with the all calculation we are getting the value of MB is equals to minus 80.3492 kilo Newton. We are getting the value of MB that is moment at the B point is minus 80.3492. But this is not an answer. Okay, this is not an exact answer. We are we wanted to solve the total diagram that need net bending moment diagram. This diagram overlaps this simple bending moment diagram. So we are proceeding for the step number three to draw a simple bending moment diagram. So step number three diagrammatical representation. of neat BMD bending moment diagram ok so draw this diagram first this is our diagram this is A this is B this is C ok oh, the dog is shouting here one portion and this is 90 portion ok this is what of 75 kilonewton and this is what of how much 96 kilonewton. Okay, now this is A, B, C. You have like length is having the 4 meter, this having a length of 5 meter and this having an area A1, I1, X1. This cannot be, this cannot be right here. Okay, only length. Now, listen here. What is the value of MB 80? One thing is only remember that this bending moment diagram, so above portion is always negative and downward portion is always positive. So if we having a value in minus, so we have draw the this portion at upward direction. Okay, so this is 75 and this is B portion. Okay, so we take the 80 portion at this point because it's 96. So what is this is 80.3492 kilonewton okay so diagrams are like that 
this here, here. So, see here, this portion is, that means this portion is negative and this portion is positive. So, this portion make as a neutral, this portion make neutral, but this portion is always positive, this portion remain positive because it cannot upgrade it or overlap in the negative portion, but this portion is minus. Okay friends, so this is the total answer of the three moment theorem diagram at the moment at B point. So thank you, thank you for watching this problem with me and my friend, my brother Sanket Nimbarte. Okay, thank, thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Okay, welcome to next problem because it is very 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 important problem with me and Sanket Nimbarte. So it is problem number two. Okay, in this problem we are discuss about the total UDL, overhanging, fixed and imaginary beam. Okay, so now proceed for it. The beam is given as all the beam procedure is to be very 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 important a fixed beam is proceeded a fixed beam you attach then the udl is drawn the point at toward the point a now a hinge support is attached at that point and middle span is get loose no any other point is get attached to it and the another hinge is get attached at another point and here is some overhanging portion is to be attached and over that a UDL is attached. It is very 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 hard problem. It is for only the term, for only the determination. Actually it is very 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 simple. Nothing to say hard. Okay only the TMT. What is the exact use of TMT? You know that then you can calculate anything what you want. Okay. So. So. The UDL is to be at this point A, B, C, D. The moment of inertia is I, 2 I, I. Uh, moment is given. A moment of 5, uh, 50 kilo Newton is a uh, moment is uh, given here. Okay, so a fixed point is to be here. Now, the calculation is to be like that. That uh, we have to first uh, draw an imaginary line. Okay, because it is a fix. I know that that the fixed moment is here. The imaginary line is very important. And moment of inertia, the distances and the hinges. And why why it should take this problem? Because this problem is deal with the very different different conditions applying at the beam. Okay, this beam is de dealing with the total de destruction because it consists of a moment bending moment uh, bending uh, sorry kya? what moment UDL so it is our step number one okay this step number one we draw and uh, simply supported simply supported bending moment diagram okay with the help of the bending moment diagram we are getting the some conditions the height that which uh, help to calculate data area okay with the help of area x distance can be calculated okay so here I draw a line, it is a point, okay, here a B point, here a C point, D point, okay, so this distance is overhang. Now draw a UDL that means arc on with the help of WL square by 8 is the formula for draw this lips, okay, now here a moment give presence so that's why it is like that okay it is positive clockwise so it is 56.23 here is 7 25 and is 75 because moment by divided by 2 okay so this is simply supported bending moment diagram here some another wl square by it is formula for determine this and it is m by 2 okay moment Now we are proceeding for this total another calculation. Okay. In imaginary, in sorry, in fixed beam, consider an imaginary portion which is starting from A0 having a length L0 and moment of inertia I0. 
and a0 is xlan okay which is x0 okay where considered all our conditions become at 0 okay now step number 2 in which area calculation we are get calculated okay we are calculate the area here a21 and a22 is 12.215 and we i am actually already calculated so you know that why which formula use half into base into height okay which can be used so x1 and x2 you can also calculate it by therefore l plus f divided by 2 and here the calculation by calculate a2 x2 you multiply 12.5 multiply by 0 0.67 plus 112.5 multiply by 2 meter okay you get the a2 x2 which can put in the minus 6 formula 216.62 okay now here i written all the values minus 216.625 okay the sunset become the my calculation getting wrong okay now A1 is 112.5 and X1 is 1.5. Okay. Now, our step number 2 proceeding toward to calculation to apply the bending moment diagram. You know that actually how to apply the trim moment theorem in fixed beam. Okay. So, I just write only the equation. You know the calculation. Okay. Step number 2. The equation getting like that apply three moment theorem in a0 a b beam okay we know that the continuous for tmt the continuous beam is required and two spam and three fixed beam okay this is the imaginary a fixed beam and a bend simply bending moment diagram of the udl okay here a1 x1 l1 i1 okay this is three meter l1 now the equation is to be twice m a here a 3 multiply length okay plus 3 ma mb equals to mc is 0 here sorry mb is not minus 37.5 it is equation number 1 okay now proceeding for the second equation tmt applied abc beam here get the 3 unknowns ma mb and mc 3 ma plus 11 MB plus twice 2.5 MC equals to minus 337.5 so the 3 move 11 MB plus 2.5 MC equals to minus 337.5 it is equation is second equation here the three unknowns are present okay so it is 3 and next third equation you know that how to calculate this equation okay in this equation in third equation the moment at the empty point is i am not calculated you know that the uh, bending moment over a uh, 10 kN force is applied and one distance so, okay it is converted into the point load and draw it as a 10 multiplied by 2 it is 20 so it is getting as a positive direction okay and you get the value okay you know that so it get a positive direction apply it as a negative in the md portion okay so value is md is for minus 20 multiply by 4 so sorry 20 multiply by 4 okay and get the minus from this side 364.94 okay 93 sorry okay you get the all values it is an example now we get this this value 2.5 mb plus 3 mc okay this three now put all this value in calci is there a ma is absent in third equation put the value of ma is equals to 0 ok so we are getting the value of ma equals to 43.43 kN per meter kN per meter mb equals to minus 26.49 kN meter and mc equals to 33.1616 kN here 33 is positive it can be shown in the diagram properly ok now diagrammatical representation of the neat bending movement diagram okay 
वी आर राइटिंग हियर द ऑल द मूवमेंट्स एम ए एम बी एम बी एम ए इक्वल्स टू माइनस फोर्टी थ्री एम बी इक्वल्स टू माइनस ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट फोर नाइन एंड एम सी इक्वल्स टू थर्टी थ्री एम सी इक्वल्स टू थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट वन सिक्स नाउ वी आर ड्रॉइंग अ नेट बेंडिंग मूवमेंट डायग्रामेटिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ओके इट इज स्टेप नंबर फोर नाउ वी आई होप दैट यू ऑल आर गाइज आर सेटिस्फाइड विद दिस न्यूमेरिकल बिकॉज दिस न्यूमेरिकल इज considering all the examples all the bending moment movements if you require the another problems then please send me please comment me then i will be applicable the another problems so here a bending moment a line a b c d point okay uh, we know that we overlapping all this point okay this is our first uh, simply simple bending moment diagram and the point moment uh, taking place at all these points okay this 75 is bigger than 56.25 okay so we are getting this point and at the portion of d we are getting the moment of 20 at above direction which is negative and here a concept is very important at above direction of the bending moment is negative and downward direction is positive okay so here the 20 33 is a positive portion so it is getting downward direction okay so we are plotting the points First is forty three minus forty three. So it is upward direction. Then at B portion is to be twenty six point forty nine. Now thirty three is at getting the downward direction one six. Okay. I'll draw a line. Okay. Take a moment at the D point twenty. And equals to twenty. We are getting from the O-ring to balance the O-ring being. It is necessary to draw this. Okay. Okay. And the shadow dark the portion. It is it is negative portion. Okay. This is negative portion. This is negative portion. This is positive portion. is negative portion to determine the negative positive one thing is very important it is answer okay above portion is negative downward is positive so it is your total answer thank you watching my tutorial